Hi dear aspirants and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is very important topic of international relations, international economics, current affairs or global affairs, essays of the world asked in all examinations of FPSC, PPSC, SPSC, UPSC and university admission test in the world. Today's topic is Economic Cooperation Organization and its parts are Introduction, Purpose, Potential and Role of Pakistan. Today's topic is consists of only Introduction, Purpose and Potential and the role of Pakistan will be described in next part. Okay. Now come, come, let us come to introduction. These are questions of examination in Viva. Who is Secretary General of ECO? To which country he belongs? and its number. So, today's ECO Secretary General is Khusrao Naziri, who is national of Tajikistan and is 13th ECO Secretary General and he took office in August 2021. ECO has successfully gained momentum to revitalize itself in international arena. It has provided significant fill-up to economic relations among member states. The three, three founding members of ECO were first linked together in Western-sponsored military alliance that was originally called the Baghdad Pact in 1955 but which was renamed as Central Treaty Organization or CENTO after Iraq withdrew from it in 1958. Leaders at, leaders at Izmir, a city of um, Turkey, in 1964 decided to establish regional cooperation for development RCD on 22nd 20, July 1964 by Turkey, Iran, Turkey and Pakistan. The ECO owes its gene genealogy to its forerunner RCD. Following the end of fratricidal Iran-Iraq war in August 1988, the member states realized the need to revitalize the organization to enable it to pursue its objective. In this context, the foreign ministers of Pakistan, Iran and Turkey met in Islamabad in June 1990 to amend the Treaty of Izmir. The first summit of ECO was held in February 1992 in Tehran in order to provide a framework for multilateral cooperation. The enlargement, enlargement of ECO was the first step towards giving new opportunities to landlock Central Asian states for new approach to development. Economic Cooperation Organization is an intergovernmental regional organization established in 1985 as a trilateral organization by Iran, Pakistan and Turkey for the purpose of sustainable socio-economic growth and development of the member states. ECO is the successor organization of Regional Cooperation for Development or RCD that remained active from July 1964 up to 
1992, the ECO blossomed into an effective regional organization and expanded to include six new members from Central Asia who gained independence from Soviet Union. ECO, with more than 7 million square kilometers and more than 550 million people, offer unique opportunities for the overall regional, economic, social and strategic development. The member states are committed to work co collectively to employ their combined potential for the betterment of people. The expanded ECO has acquired the status of an important and dynamic forum. Now, purpose. What is the um, purpose, aims and our objectives of the ECO? The purpose, our aims and our objective of ECO is to promote multidimensional regional cooperation and to create conditions for sustainable socio-economic growth and development, promotion of intra-regional trade, development of transport and communication, infrastructure, economic liberalization and privatization, mobilization of and utilization of ECO's region's material resources, effective use of agricultural and industrial potential as well as regional cooperation for drug control and environmental protection are among objectives of economic cooperation organization. The ECO has accomplished many pro-poor projects which are yielding results the ECO, since its inception, has accomplished enormous achievements in all agreed areas of cooperation enshrined in its charter. The ECO countries had committed to gradually reduce tariff agreed in ECO trade agreement a quota and remove para-tariff and non-tariff barriers in trade among the ECO member states so as to increase intra-regional trade to 20% and determined to move toward establishment of a free trade area in ECO region. The adoption of ECO trade agreement a quota in later and split would lead to Removal of non-tariff barriers, you must know non-tariff barriers are para-tariff barriers, essential for promotion of intra-regional trade among ECO member states. The member states of ECO have been collaborating and coalescing to accelerate the pace of regional economic, social, development through their collective endeavors or efforts. Now, potential and significance of ECO in international relations or in international politics. The ECO region as a whole has a rich resources, potential of oil and gas as well as hydroelectric power and is destined to play a prominent role in the energy markets of the world in the near future. The ECO region is a vast and endowed with abundant natural and mineral resources. The ECO reflects the aspiration of people bound together by shared common heritage and culture and religion. Within the vast areas of ECO region has a unique potential parallel to none in the world. 
the coming together of the diverse countries on the basis of historical and cultural religious links rooted in their islamic identity generated feelings of satisfaction in islamic world since its expansion from a trilateral entity to a major regional organization of 10 member states ECO is focus of world attention in terms of its geopolitical significance and vast combined economic potential the ECO region is replete with vivid trading prospects nevertheless the organization is confronted with daunting problem problems and challenges with respect to realization of its objectives and goals despite low level of technological and industrial development it is a resource rich area with a strategic locking location lying at the crossroad that linked europe with the asia pacific region the asia region has va- vast untapped natural resources the north south corridor corridor which um, brings gas runs through eco region further unlike sark which remained hamstring or hindered by multifaceted political and territorial conflicts and disputes among member states eco is a much more cohesive block which is fortunately divided of a regional bully like india 13th eco summit was held on 1st march 2017 in islamabad third summit was also held on 14th may 1955 at islamabad students should remember six members of eco are also members of aco shanghai cooperation organization which are four um, central asian countries number pakistan number one pakistan and india iran is become member of aco which is also a, a founding member of ECO all are enjoying cordial relations with Russia and China the IPI India Pakistan oh, Iran Pakistan India and TP Tajikistan Afghanistan Pakistan India gas pipeline project is surely an inevitable development that will have an enormous impact on the socio-economic and geostrategic conditions of the region. The member states also face challenges. The ECO countries agreed to establish interconnection of electric power system in ECO region to achieve better patterns of production, exchange and trade of electricity facilitating development of oil and gas pipeline network in the region to meet the 